Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. I'm in line at the uh, Chick-fil-A and it's like 4.30. This is the first time I'm eating today. I'm starving. I'm getting a Cobb salad with crispy chicken. I'm lightheaded so I couldn't remember what dressing I like. I think I got ranch and I got some fries and a lemonade. I'm so freaking hungry. I hate when I wait to the last minute oh, to the last minute to eat because you, it's, it's just it's not good. And it's just not good. But we're going to eat together once I get my food. Now, I've been here for a minute. Now, you know Chick-fil-A don't usually play. I should have pulled up by now. I'm hungry. It's always when you're starving that people want to play with you in line. Like, come on now. Come on now. So anyway, I wanted to do an extension of my other video and try to get some therapy. Now I know I said I wasn't going to do too much therapy, psychology anymore on this channel. But some of you ladies, y'all y'all need some, y'all need to be talked to. Cause y'all are cutting people to the to the to the to the white meat. You are really cutting up, cutting. I mean, cutting people to to the bone. And I just don't understand why. Like, were y'all not hugged? Do not get enough hugs. Nurturing is very important. Attachment is very important to the human spirit. And some of y'all, I feel like y'all did not, y'all didn't get the hugs you deserve, the hugs you needed, the hugs that should have supported you, the hugs that should have made you want to love on and not tear up the next person. Like, I'm, like, being so serious right now. Like, some of the videos that I've watched in the last week, last month, last six months, in this sector, they're getting worse and worse. And I understand there's a whole beef sector and what they do over there and the tearing down of each other and just... nasty just so nasty and what is the root of it even like you look I've been a fan of like Wendy Williams y'all know that because that's my that's my Jersey sis but even as she was on the cutting edge of this type of reporting reporting and talking about people gossip and all of that she didn't rip people to the white me she talked about behavior. She talked about celebrity behavior. And if I want to talk about somebody's behavior is one thing. Because that's what they put out there. Like, you just showed me on camera, you know, you did such and such. And now I'm reporting about it. And I'm talking about your behavior. That's one thing. But to get on camera and talk about somebody's looks children job you know just ripping them to shreds I mean ripping people to shreds that's on some other shit I'll get back to y'all in a minute because I'm about to pull up and get my food oh goodness they must have new staff in here because I've never had 
it's never taken me that long to get food. Here's my salad. That's the corn salad. Of, what is it called? Cobb salad. What is this? Charred tomato crispy red bell peppers. Come on now. And then I have herb garlic ranch dressing. But before I get into that, I got to get into these french fries. And I like the Polynesian sauce. Oh, uh home. -huh. Oh. He just tried to give me an extra bag of food. Like, this huge bag of food. Apparently, the person behind me has the same name. So, I'm really concerned about some of y'all. Y'all talk about people in y'all real life like that? Do you talk to your children like that? How would you feel if somebody talked to your child like that on a national platform, just ripping your child to shreds? Like you would like that. Lemonade. I really don't think you would like it. Ah. Reporting somebody's behavior. Ew. But it's so different than ripping them to shreds. That's ripping, ripping, ripping. Definitely something up with you mentally. And that's not good. Hmm. This is so gloomy here. It's definitely fall. Gloomy, chilly. Those of you in the deep south and California and out west, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't want to understand. Living through all these weather conditions. I really hate it sometimes. I do. Living through winter and our winters out here is they can be very brutal. 
I mean, you you literally are stuck in the house for days. Days. I go this salad. You stuck in the house for days. Unless you're in a job that you got to be there, they just shut down everything. Let me put these little crispy things on here. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I really think a lot of people in this sector. YouTube content creators who constantly drag and just mean. <clears throat> Y'all need a therapist or something. Shit. Y'all need to seriously get yourself a therapist. I want to figure out why you get so much pleasure out of it. Well, it's definitely pleasurable. You're getting a reward out of it, and that's that pleasure. Hmm. Don't you think it makes them feel bad? But well, I think that's what you want. You want them to feel bad. We're just bullying them to a whole nother level. It is bullying to a whole nother level. I don't have to say one channel name. You know exactly who I'm talking about. And if you don't, good. That means you ain't watching that kind of channel. You know, I watch some of it sometimes. Because I'm a creator in this channel, in this sector, but it's getting grimier and grimier. And there are content creators who have left this sector because of it. They gone. Gone, honey. You don't report about none of this sector gossip. They don't talk about it anymore on their channel. And I'm gonna put some of this on here. They just got fed up with it, got too ugly. Got too ugly. And they're right. It got way too ugly. And that's not what they want their channel to be about. <clears throat> well, they just don't want to hear it. They just got sick of it.
As long as those, those channels got three or four hundred people in their chats and people co-signing it, they're going to do well. Please put yourself in the person's shoes that you're talking about that you don't even know. I only ran up on one tomato. Oh no, there go another one. What do you want, tomato? Imagine if that was your mom or your grandma. Oh well. I don't know. Just sad, weird. I would say if you the person who's being victimized on the, by these channels, don't even watch it. It's very easy to block channels from your page. Just block them. It's not worth it. It's not worth your self-esteem, your self-worth. It's just not. I mean, unfortunately, you couldn't... You may not be able to stop, you know, family members and other people that love you from watching it, but you don't have to watch it. really don't. Mm, 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 mm. Well, y'all, I'm going to end the video here. Woo, 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 woo. Y'all have a great day. Bye.